So, this is my Asus video card uh, HD6670 um, review unboxing. I'm not sure what it really is yet. Um, so, why did I buy this? My backup computer, which is an older gaming machine, was previous, is still using, well, at least the next few minutes, a uh, HIS uh, for HD4670 from ATI AMD. Good card. I like the line. It has a nice uh, cooling setup called uh, Ice Q. And, but the problem is, uh, AMD ATI has phased out this brand of, uh, or this, these generation of cards from receiving regular driver updates. And even though this is going to a backup machine, it seems my, the card still wants these constant updates instead of the once quarterly legacy updates that it's now receiving. So I kind of made the decision, it's time to upgrade. I went to look into more HIS products and um, the problem was couldn't get one with the ISQ technology. I've tried to search for it, uh, the one I was looking for, which was also a uh, 6670 and uh, can't get it in this country at least. Not sure you can get it anywhere. The nearest card they have I believe is in the 6500 series and honestly, that card's a little too outdated. A little too outdated for what I needed. So I've gone with this Asus card, and the reason why I went with it, I had a couple of options. At first, I was going to go with the Sapphire card, same exact line, 6670. Uh, that either that was going to have one gigabyte of memory, as it's the Tom's Hardware budgeted gamer recommendation for the month of March 2013. Uh, I looked into some other cards, though, because I could have got that card for $50 after rebate. I looked into one with 2 gigs, basically the same card, and it had a similar cooling solution to the card I have already. But I ended up going with this card, which, again, is a uh, Asus E6670-DIS-1GD5. Thanks to the DDR, you know, GDDR5 mem memory, it'll give it a little extra speed. This card was generally well reviewed at a four star review on Newegg, and I'm looking forward to seeing how it works. Of course, I bought it from Newegg, had a ten dollar, uh, basically a ten dollar promo card, and a twenty dollar rebate that I'll be sending in later. So uh, let's uh, let's open up and see what's in the sucker. As you can see, here's the card. It's a bit of a bare bones. You know, these budget cards don't come with the accessories they used to. You used to buy one of these budget cards and it came with all these accessories. Looks like this is pretty bare bones. We've got the uh, the adapter there for DVI to EJ, which I'm actually going to need because I run a KVM switch set up on my backup computer. And, you know, it looks, looks to be pretty average. So I'm going to actually install this. And I'll probably come back with a video in just a little bit and we'll see how the installation has gone. So we now have the new video card in operation here and honestly it's pretty it's pretty simple it's uh, it's running good already uh, don't have a lot more to add than that it's running it, we'll see how quiet it runs here I haven't put the side of the case on just yet seems to be running a little quiet the fan here on the processor I think is a little louder so far so good seems to be installed Seems to be working well. I don't have a lot more than that than that. So the uh, install was pretty painless. It is a little bit accessory bare, but I don't. I expect that out of a budget card. Uh, it only came with uh, a VGA to DVI converter, which is what is what to be is what should be expected. Um, like I said, install was painless. I let it run, gave it a good run. Um, it's functioning. It's not very loud. It, it, there were a lot of reports that this is a quiet card. It had a minimal temperature gain overnight because I use a fan controller on my backup computer. And it, uh, it, it I turned the fans down for the night. And yes, it, it did heat up a little, but nothing too bad. So for now, I have no real complaints. The card was easy to install. Drivers were painless. And we're just going to see what happens. If I have any problems, I'll do an update video. But right now, looking pretty stable. I'm looking forward to the rebate. There was a nice rebate with this card. And uh, we'll just we'll see how it does. Thanks for watching.